The Marlies back to work here at the Rico Coliseum in the latter half of the week as they got a few days off, absolutely necessary, after three weeks of three and threes. And the Marlies with only 10 games left in the schedule, a good opportunity for Sheldon Keefe and the coaching staff to give them a few days off to regenerate and recharge ahead of their game this weekend against the St. John's Ice Caps, a team that they have had some trouble with over the course of this season. Well, one of the hottest Marlies lately has been Sam Carrick, and for him, these few days off helped him recharge both physically and mentally. I think it was well needed, you know, after uh, playing that many games in so few days. Um, you know, three and threes are they're tough, you know, especially with the travel we had. And, um, you know, I think all, everyone's body just needed a little break. And, um, you know, I think um, you know, I can speak for everyone when I say that we're pretty uh, re-energized right now and uh, ready to, uh, have to have a good stretch here with the last 10 games. You look at the last 10 games of the season, it starts with St. John's, a team that has been tough to play against for the Marlies. What do you see in their game and, and what presents troubles for you guys? Yeah, they, they work hard. You know, I think that's their that's their bread and butter is they, they play every night. And, um, you know, especially against a team like us where, um, you know, we have a lot of skill. I think that's what they're going to uh, they're going to look to do is just outwork us and uh, outbattle us. So I think if we match that, then, um, you know, we'll be fine. Guys have a tough last three weeks, three and three, three and three and three. Nice to get at least a little bit of a breather here, not only for the break, but in games as well with only one this weekend. Yeah, it's good. You know, everyone needs a, a little time off to refocus, and I think that's exactly what we did. And, um, you know, I think everyone's just really looking forward to this last little stretch here. Um, you know, this is always the funnest time to play, you know, when the weather's getting warm and, um, you know, coming to the rink every day is fun, especially leading up into playoffs. And we're just uh, we're just excited to, you know, just keep getting better and, um, you know, looking forward to having a good stretch. Shelton, how much a, a, a break like this is, is about mental and how much is it about physical repair? Well, I think there's both, no question. Uh, I think mental is a big one at, at this point in the season. The grind of, of uh, a long season and three, three and threes, that in itself uh, mentally is a hard uh, hurdle to get over. And then just, you know, not having to sit through meetings and not having to prepare for different opponents. So to be able to have just one game in, in the nine days that we've had, we have here coming up uh, since our last game uh, gives our guys a chance to have a little bit of a breather. But we've had two good work days uh, yesterday and today to prepare for, you know, a game tomorrow that uh, we're going to have to be prepared for. We're going to have to be good. It's a team that we've had a hard time against this season. So uh, hopefully we're able to ramp it back up and get, get at it tomorrow. Justin, of all the guys, uh, you could probably use the break that just happened the most. You've been here from day one. Uh, how was the break, and, and how important was it mentally and physically? Yeah, it was great. Uh, obviously, we just came off three weekends in a row, three and three, so it was good to give the body a little rest, and a lot of guys got the chance to go home or you know get away for a bit, so it was uh, really good for the team. You come back into this uh, this game this weekend. Nice to ease back in with only one game instead of you know multiple games. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously we're kind of used to the three and threes at this point, but it's nice to give the body a little rest and only have uh, two in the next nine days or whatever. So it'll be good. Justin Hall hasn't missed a lot of games so far this year for the Marlins. Uh, three preseason games as well that he can add to it, and there's not many guys in the lineup that can boast that. The Marlies picking up one game this weekend, Saturday, against the St. John's Ice Caps, and then they don't play again until Tuesday against those same Ice Caps, and then it's on to the next weekend.